Hello, welcome to this week's plan thing for the week of October 4th to October 10th. My name is Stephanie and thank you for joining me today. This week I'm using this beautiful kit from Happy Daya. This is one of the subscription kits. I believe this one was from... I don't remember if it's May or June. But um, she came out with this early and she tried to keep it more on like the witchy thing and not so much like Halloween. But of course I had to use it during the month of Halloween because it's so pretty. My favorite box is that dark box that says we all have magic in us. And that is what honestly gravitated me towards this kit. Like everything is just so cute. I did try to use as much as I could from the kit, especially since I could end up using this up to I think two more times because it just came with so much and I also got the sticker kit um, subscription. So I brought in as much as I could. So all of the sidebar is from the kit from their non-foiled page. Of course, I use it to mark hydrating, walking my dog Jaeger, and taking my vitamins. The scripts are from my Laguna Plants Co. You, so you could use my code STEF15 for 15% off and my silver sampler right here in the top right corner. So what I did to add some sparkles to the date covers was bring in some deco that I did with Trina. I just put like little gold decos on it. So it was like the ghost clusters, bat clusters, and candy clusters. And then I added some of the non-foiled ones as well to the date covers. And then um, for the headers, this kit did come with headers, but I didn't want to use them because it would be like a lot of foil. <laughs> like a lot. They were like super cute, but it was like a lot of foil. So I just brought in that 5mm purple washi that came with the subscription if you got it or if you ordered all the stuff during the, the subscription section you got like a free washi and this really cute hat pin i also brought in some washi from simply gilded and it's that gold moon washi and then this really bright neon skull washi is honestly my favorite i love it so much i believe i used the other one which is black with green instead of this one that's green and black last week and i just love it i know the green is a little more brighter than what comes in the kit but it's fine i love it i also decided to make some of the non-foiled full boxes and the foiled full boxes just so i have an equal amount for the next spread so technically for the next spread i have another like full spread with full boxes but then after that it's just going to be a whole bunch of leftovers and me just needing to use the decos okay for my work scripts i don't it came with like a lot of like boxes too so i did try to use as much as i could so i brought these boxes that said um that's just blank they're quarter boxes and then i put the constance work scripts right on top of it i didn't work monday so i just had to use four work scripts this week uh let's see of course it is an all gold foil so i brought in as much gold as i could but still tried to like keep it a little simple since the foil or since the kit is very foiled already I do mark some stuff down because even though Brandon and I were on like a little mini vacation, we still, I still had a telehealth appointment on Monday so I had to mark that. I knew that I was getting my girls uh, hay and pellets that day so I also marked that as well. And I ended up like moving a lot of the stickers that I put down for Japantown so that is just to mark that I hung out with Brandon that day, that we had a little date day and just needed to do laundry the next day just because we used so much clothing. And for the weekend portion and the sideboard, honestly when I got the subscription kit, because I bought two types of subscription kits, I got like a whole bunch of washi, like it was a lot. And I just love it, but I'm kind of like, I think I overdid it. <laughs> so I, I ended up using all the washies that I could 
from the bundles my favorite one is that black washi of course i don't know it just speaks to me and then that light blue one is also super pretty i also did this weird thing on sunday where i used these three box checklists and kind of just stacked them on top so it could mark my my cleaning or what i cleaned that day and then I thought it was gonna look weird, but it actually looked fine. I don't like putting two box or two full boxes right next to each other, but this time I didn't mind. So I actually like how it looked. And then I the kit came with two vegan banners, but I did want to use that plain one, so that's why I didn't bring in the foiled one. I feel like it might have been a little too much, but it's fine. And that is about it for the pre-plan portion. I'm just going to lay everything down now. I'm going to put like a short song. So I hope you guys enjoy watching me lay down stickers, washi. Then I'll get back to you for the mermaid plan with me portion of this video. Okay? Hello, welcome back. This is a memory plan with me portion of the video. So here we go. Starting off on Monday, of course, I did not go to work because Brandon and I, we decided to take the day off. We didn't want to be at the concert and then have to drive all the way back. Um, the last time we did that, it was kind of scary because we were both falling asleep. So we decided to rent out in San Francisco a hotel that was near the venue and then spend the rest of our time at Japantown where we decided to eat so much food. Brandon's been wanting to do this thing where we kind of just eat everything that we can at all the restaurants that we can. So during this time on Monday, we woke up, we packed up. We thought that there was going to be like water and breakfast at the hotel and there wasn't anything. <laughs> So we had to like walk down to a nearby Walgreens and we picked up some food. And then after that, we checked out, we went to Japantown and the first thing that we had was Nabayaki at Nandeya. It was so good. Um, that's like my favorite type of udon, Nabayaki. And then after that, we decided to walk around a little and Brandon really wanted some ice cream from Uji time. So we got this watermelon it was like fresh watermelon even, even i liked it and it was like in a little takoyaki fish i know um what is it called it's not takoyaki it's it's the little ones that look like fish one of those i, I forgot the name uh after that we kind of walked around it a little more we went to the bookstore and some stores I think we, I went to like one of the, like the face shop ones and um, we looked around like figurines and little anime stores. Then we went to Tenroko Sushi, which is like a 
the little train sushis and we had that super quickly before we left brandon did want to try some of the mochi donuts so that's what we did then when we drove home we rested a little then i played overcooked with some friends the next day it was <laughs> a little crazy because i had to wake up early because i needed to get some labs done and then i just watched youtube worked on commission went to work and that was my tuesday Wednesday, I really didn't do much, so I just went to work, watched some YouTube, played League. Moving on to Thursday, I was very excited for this day because I've been looking into going back for school. And I'm going to try out for the Stanford Genetics Program. So they had a webinar at around lunch, and I started tuning into it. And I'm actually very excited to try to get into this. It's very hard to get into because only 14 people are accepted, but I'm going to try my best. Once um, that was done, I just worked on commissions. Brandon was so sweet, so we got Jamba after work. Then we just watched some anime together and played villains. On Friday, I went to work, of course. And then I got some happy mail from Spirit this day. I played League, and then I pretty much just worked on commissions. Trina did have new rele releases, so I marked that. And we also went grocery shopping. I think it was because the girls needed some veggies and that's what we did. Uh, yeah. And then I just love how that little gold back look. That's like one of the most favorite that I've done for the club that I did with Trina. Okay. And then the next one for Saturday. Um, there was an urgent matter that I had to take care of, so that kind of took the whole morning, but that's okay. I was able to resolve it. We got home, and I watched The Nightmare Before Christmas. I played League with some friends, worked on some commissions, and then, um, later that night, my siblings wanted to watch a movie with me since I have Disney+. Plus. So, I connected them to my account, and, uh, we watched Soul together. We just were on Discord, we were talking about it, and Brandon was with us too. <laughs> so that's why I include the little um, three bears from We Bear Bear and then um, Charlie. So I saw Paper and Milk, Denise from Paper and Milk do this, where she used it to mark Sven, or was it Denise? No. Who was it? Or was it Mandy Dreams? I don't remember. One of those two, I think it was Mandy Dreams, who used... Um, the three bears to mark like times with siblings and since I finished the show and didn't really have anywhere else to use the stickers I decided to use the last three that I had and then added Charlie there because he was the last sticker I had too So that was fun On Sunday, of course, I did a lot of house cleaning Brandon and I slept in so I got to use that new happy diet sticker that I got for couples um, I did do some filming for next week and then editing and upload and voiceover for this one uh i picked up some meds and brandon got me some jamba juice super sweet i played league and overcooked with friends and then this day i decided to be very responsible and i ironed so many shirts and clothing so proud of myself from that my happy moment for this week will have to be walking around Japantown and eating with Brandon. We haven't done that in a bit where we eat out at restaurants and it was just super fun. They did require um, us to have uh, our code vaccine, which was completely fine. Brandon and I are vaccinated, so we just had fun and we actually liked the comfort of knowing that other people in the restaurant were also vaccinated and safe, so that was nice. So for dinners, I did end up using that Happy Dio one. I didn't use it before because I thought it was just so big in the area where I was trying to use it. So I just used it for Monday. So we had sushi. The next day we had a breakfast sandwich, steak, corn dog, KFC, egg spam and rice, and then wings and potatoes. So here is a little bib wiggle. I hope you guys enjoyed my story for this week and the adventures I had with Brandon. Please stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!